Hey guys, Dis799 here, and welcome to a Dis799 special. It's going to be on um, customizing your Xbox controller. It'll be a tutorial as well as a bit of a vlog. Um, I've never done this before, but I've seen lots of videos on YouTube about it. So, because I've bought a kit and it came today, and I'm going to show you me customizing it. Tutorial, vlog. So yeah, um, you'll need a few things. You'll need your customization stuff. You'll need an Xbox controller, and you'll need a now, and you'll need a screwdriver, a specific screwdriver. Um, well, sort of. You'll need the proper screwdriver for opening the screws in the Xbox controller. Is a Torx T8 security screwdriver. I think Torx, Torx T8 security screwdriver. I put link it. I put a. Uh, I put it in the description. Um, but you can just use a regular flathead, which I'm using. Because if you've got one of these, just any old flathead, that works okay. That's fine, because the torque, because the special screwdriver, I'm just going to call it a special screwdriver. Uh, the actual ones, they are quite expensive. Well, not really expensive, they're like a couple of quid, but I didn't want to pay that, so I've just got this. So, the reason why I'm going to customise it is because, like, my Xbox controller, I've got this. You see, this looks skin, um, sort of broken, and, uh, like, even when I take off the skin, <laughs> it looks a bit sorry for itself, it looks a bit rubbish, and normal, um, and then that, like, looks a bit random, but with the kit that I've got, be fine. Um, so first you want thing first thing you want to do is take out the battery pack. You don't want to electrocute yourself. So uh take out your battery pack. Um now there's seven screws. It may look like only six, but there is seven. One wait, one here. Second one's there. Three four, five, six, and there's one hidden behind this sticker here. That sticker, the one with the barcode on it. Now, you can just stick your screwdriver through it, or you can, like, peel it off, and I'm going to peel it off, because for some reason I feel like I want to stick it back on afterwards. Keep it. It might come in useful somehow, I don't know how. Um, so, yeah. As I said, I've never done this before. Oh, I better show you the kit. I've got. So, it's come kind of wrapped up in this elastic band. Elastic band. Oh my god. So, yeah. Um, and it's a button kit, along with a few other stuff. Basically, so. It's white. So I'm just going to replace some of this. I, I'm still going to have like the black, like this black, this area, and that area black. But everywhere else is going to be white and stuff. Oh, and the and the start and select buttons as well. Um, so before I get to the controller, I'll show you the kit. I haven't actually taken this out of the bag, so I haven't even had a feel of it. So, I've got Y. They're basic uh, white buttons. Y. A. And then uh, X, X and B. X and B. <laughs> Long. I'll just arrange them on the table. Got D pad. If 
thumbsticks, which, which feel very nice. I must admit. And I've got RB and LB buttons. Triggers, which are a bit confusing, so I might have to like pause the video for that part and look it up on YouTube. But I've got YouTube behind me. Screensaver. There. That's my channel. Then got your Xbox button, which is just white. Oh. Um, then you've got this, which is that bit there. So this will still be grey, that little um, place where you plug your mic in. And that will be grey where you plug your controller in, if you've got a wide controller. Um, buttons first, I think, because they're the easiest. But first, screws. Yeah, as I said, seven, three there, three there, and one behind that sticker. As again, I'm going to say this, I've never done this before, but I've seen a lot of videos. Why isn't it working? Seriously. Wait, I'm gonna pause this video and see if I can find a better screwdriver. <gasps> Alright, I've done it. Um, well, I didn't do it. I couldn't do it. It was a bit hard, so I got my dad to do it. We had to improvise. But I have got another controller so I could use a screw I like this because like the screws broke. I have got another controller so I could use a screw from that. But yeah. I'm taking it apart. So don't forget. Do not forget that that screw there. Now you gotta be careful. Take it apart because these these rumblers. They can, uh, the wires, they can, like, come off. It could be, it could be bad. So, yeah, take take this off. Um, and then take the circuit board out. Quite simple to take out. And now you're left with just this. But, um, still gonna have that anyway. So I'll put that over to one side. Um... Now, I have seen you can take off the rumblers so that they don't break. Yep, just basically, you see this thing here? Just have to pull on that gently but strongly at the same time. Cause you don't want to break it because it's very fragile. But you don't want to pull it so weak that it's not even going to come off. So yeah, they're the rumblers. Those are what vibrate. Move around. One's bigger than the other. Strange. So yeah. Um. Buttons. I'll do that. That'll be the first thing I'll do. Um. That's what the circuit board looks like. Um, you've got these. Feels so weird doing it like that. Um, now, now I'm going to do the hardest thing first, which is this: the the triggers. You've got these. So, you, you'll be surprised how dirty your controller is inside. Because mine is so dirty. No, I think you have to like... 
hurl it in one direction. I didn't just say that, did I? Damn. To pull that, you have to pull it up so that this, that thing, goes down, and so like, it's not connected anymore. And then you have to uh, pull these two things apart gently, again, gently, so you don't break it. Strong enough that you can actually do it. You're very hard to do. It is very hard. In fact, uh, pen. You want to get a pen, whatever, or the screwdriver, and you want to push in that little thing there. You can. Oh my. There. Okay, so I figured it out. You want to pull that little flap and that little flap apart gently. Now be careful when you take it apart about the spring because they can fly off everywhere. Luckily, mine didn't. And keep these close by, don't let them out of your sight, because if you lose them, it's stuffed. And then the triggers just come off. And the same with the other one. Simple enough. Simple enough once you, once you know how to do it. It is best if you have nails, unlike me. Oh my, look, the, the problem is you've got like two little notches and you want to try and get it so that both of them aren't being caught on anything. It's quite hard to do, but I'm sure you'll be out there. There we go. See so yeah, it? And then it's sort of loose. Whoa! <laughs> and then the spring. And then. You can just uh, pull it off. You can see where it's worn. Where the uh, where the triggers are worn, and I'll probably see see that with quite a few parts as I do this. So I don't need these. It's the first part that I don't need. So uh, now I've got to put them on. So let's think about this. It's just the same but logic. Um, if I round. Right, trigger. So.
Wait. Ah, uh, that's why. I was putting it on the wrong one. You have to remember which side is which when you take it apart. Because when you hold it that way, it's backwards. That's actually the bottom. Remember that. So you put that on, and then you get a spring. Now you've got a little cross. Put one end of the spring on it, and then you've got a little, like, um, hoop thing on the actual trigger. A spring on that and it's much easier to put in than it is to uh, take out yep that works fine and now just repeat it it's a, it is a lot easier to put on than it is to Jesus that was really dirty yeah, it's a, a lot. And when I say a lot, I mean a lot. How did I do this? Like that. There we go. And then... You just push that up. This one's being annoying. That would be why I haven't put the spring in. Mm. Might help if I do that. There. Now it should work. Oh my. Sorry about this. It's just being annoying. I'm not doing anything differently. And it's still not working. There, there we go. So now I've got two working triggers. Uh, now thumb sticks. They just uh, pull off. Very simple. Put those over to one side. New thumb sticks. Make sure you have the um, the dots the right way round. These are actually harder to put on than they are to take off. <laughs> so yeah, they've actually um they're actually rectangles, the little um these things. They're actually rectangles. So they can only go on one way, which helps. And these have little rectangles in as well, instead of squares. So yeah, I feel good. I actually feel really good. And you might be able to see how rubbish, rubbishy these are. Um, so that's like the circuit board finish. Now the buttons. You've got this. First of all, take that's 
most of this just like falls in. That you just pull off. Uh, that just comes off, pull off. Now the buttons you have these little pad things. So you pull these off. And now the buttons just fall out. But remember that's the buttons. Now keep I'm gonna keep hold of my start and select buttons because I don't have any new ones for them. So yeah, these are all those. I might keep all this stuff just in case it might just in case I uh, wanna do something with them. Now you need a tiny little like star head, cross head, screwdriver thing. Um, so I'll be right back. Uh, I'll just go get one of those. I'm back. And I got this. This is a cool screwdriver pen that my dad has. It's not even a normal pen. It's just a screwdriver. Looks like a pen. Um, you've got like this twisty thing, and in there you've got different heads and this is the perfect head it just happens to be the perfect head and you just press that in there it's like magnetic so yeah you've got two little screws in there I do them now I haven't actually seen any videos on how to do this but it's really simple literally just unscrew it and then one like the actual d-pad comes out the front and this back piece comes out the back. whoops oh dear oh I didn't know that so that goes oh wait what where did that come from Where did this come from? I have no idea. Anyway, find out in a minute. And my iPod is nearly run out of power. Come on. We'll go this one. Blow the things. The actual head is magnetic as well. So it sticks to it. So when you take it out, you don't have to worry about the uh, screw falling everywhere. Because it attaches! That's sick. Okay, next you've got two little clips that you just need to... Two little clips that you need to clip. Oh. Wait, I'm gonna get another hand out. It's a bit difficult to show, so I'm not going to... It's even difficult for me to see when I'm even doing it. So you have no chance to see this, guys. Why isn't it coming out? Seriously. There, there we go. So that's out. D pad. Now the new, new D pad. Okay, I'm back. I've just had my tea. Where was I? Oh yeah. 
Um, I was on the um, D-pad. Okay, so uh, I've got the old D-pad off. I've got the new D-pad and this in. So basically, don't lose those screws. Just keep that in mind. You've got some notches, two notches. Probably won't be able to see them, but there's one at the top here. And there's one at the side, top and side. Side. Okay, so you want to place that, place this grey thing, the backing into those notches. Then you want to get your D-pad and line it up like that. Now you want to make sure that it doesn't fall out because otherwise you would be doing your screws up into nothing. Basically. Um, so you get your screws. That. Whoa. Wait a sec. There we go. Let's try again. It is a bit fiddly. But you'll get it eventually. I know you want to do those up. Nearly finished that screw. This is going to be a long video, but oh well. Okay, now the second screw, which should be easier because everything's in place. There. Nearly done. That's then the D pad, which is looking cool already. I haven't even finished it. So, uh, it's seeming good. I'll get to the screw problem later. I'll do the other. When I put this back together, there are those screws. I won't show that on camera because they're kind of broken. Mm. It'll take some time to sort out. Yeah. So that's the D-pad. Um, no, I found this, but I don't know where that goes. I don't know what that's to do with. Aha. Got it now. That. 
Only thing is I don't know which way round it went. Uh, it only goes in one way, which is cool. That helps. That helps indeed. So yeah, that's the D-pad in place. Um, that's the triggers in place. Thumbsticks in place. Um, now this. Basically, you've got two sections to this. You've got this, but in black. And you've got a little middle bit as well. It goes over the top, and you can just pull it off. Be careful, though, because you don't want to break it. There we are. Two pieces. Don't need this. Do need this. And you just put this back on the way that you took it off. There we go. So that's that. Um, that's basically it for like all the complicated bits. Now it's just inserting all of this. So put all these buttons in. Y. Oh, I suggest checking which way around you. Oh, that's clever. All of these buttons only go in a certain way. So you're bound to get them in the right way around. But make sure you've got each button in the in its correct um, hole. Because uh, otherwise you're in for, in for a world of troubles. Now you've got the little Xbox button, which is just white. That's cool. Yeah. But yeah, make sure they don't fall out. So that's that. Um now this which you just put on. Like it just like hooks on if I can get it in the right place. God, I hate doing this one handed. As I said, I've never done this before, but I've seen loads of videos, so I think I've done okay for my first try. So there's that. I think I've done okay. Now for this top part, it's the same sort of thing, it just goes on the two little. Um, things. Make sure you get it the right way around, unlike me. So yeah, that's that. Um, that's about it. Now you just need to get these pads in the right place. That's quite easy. Oh wait, sorry, no. I nearly forgot these. Start and select button. Um, I don't think it matters which way around the, which one goes in which hole. Oh yes, it does. So that. Is what it sort of looks like. Not fin quite finished yet. Now the pads. Very simple. Wait. 
back on. So yeah, that's that done. And now just the fun sticks. So yeah. That's that. So that's what it looks like at the front. Pretty sick. Um and now the back. Oh wait, sorry, rumblers. rumblers. Now I can't actually remember which way round they went, but I don't think it matters. So but I'll take the control. I take the circuit board out. Yeah, as I said, I don't think it matters which way around they go. Um, let's try that again. And basically, they just sit in there like that. And there's like little slots for them. Now, when you put this together, you will have to be careful of, um, well, make sure you put the triggers on, and make sure you've got these little springs inside there, and then, uh, you can jiggle it a bit. Should go back together. You might have to fiddle around with the um, vibrators a bit. And yeah. And then you do up the screws, but as I said, I'm not going to show you that. That's my controller and it feels okay. Feels good. The buttons don't stick out as much, but it doesn't matter. In fact, I'm going to have a look at that. See what's up with it. But you've seen what it, oh, I'll do that off camera, but you've seen what that should look like. Um, I hope this tutorial has helped. Um, I've been wanting for, to customise my controller for ages. And what I'm going to finish up doing is replacing that black shell for um, uh, a gold one. So that won't be that hard, I just have to take out the circuit board, take out, just put out like this and stuff. Um, the buttons will just fall out. The only hard thing will be opening the controller um, and the D-pad. But yeah, I hope this has been helpful. hope you've enjoyed this. Um, please leave a like, um, comment, subscribe, share. So yeah, D789 out.